I, I, in terms of being like the vice president of like HR at a company, like what are some of those like roles and responsibilities uh, that you had to uh, kind of carry out compared to maybe just being a, a HR manager or director of HR? And uh, uh, yeah, so what's the difference when you're talking about being like the vice president of HR for a, a company, particularly a, a private equity firm? Yeah, so with the PE firm, like we had a lot of goals and targets that were centered around like the the P and L, the profit and loss statement yep. of the business. So, like one of my goals was I had to save five hundred thousand dollars on health insurance because we spent like five million dollars at the one organization I worked gotcha. at. So, understanding that, so there was a lot more tie-in I think on the executive level role gotcha. with the the P and L and the business plan and the strategy. Yep. A lot of times, like when when I was an HR manager for the three hundred employees when I first got into HR, it was more about kind of like just the day-to-day stuff. Yep. And then as you grew, or as I've grown in my career, David, it's been more about the strategic. And I mean, I still do tactical stuff because I do like the tactical side, yep. but it's more about like the planning and like, who do we need to add on the team in order to help us get to the next, you know, $10 million of, of revenue or success. So understanding that, but then also, you know, as I've grown in my career, it's been more about building high-performing teams and working with them and building them up and making sure that our talent you know, acquisition strategy met kind of the needs of the business and then kind of forward thinking and looking proactively, you know, Hey, if we buy this company or if we do this, what do we need to support that? And if we, if we do that, what does that change management look like? So a little bit more strategic focused versus like dealing with, you know, Billy or, or Johnny or Susie or Sally that need the help on the day-to-day For type sure. thing because their paycheck wasn't correct. And that's a super important thing. Yeah. But, but it's between my team members to take care of that. Like I look at things like as I progress in the in my career, David, it was, you know, what's a $10 item? What's a hundred dollar item, a thousand or a $10,000 item. And the private equity firm, quite frankly, was paying me to spend my time on the thousand and the $10,000 tasks, not the 10 and hundred dollar tasks. Gotcha. Now, I never let that get to my head because right. if somebody needed help with something, I was still going to go do the $10 task. Right. I mean, I, I actually, a uh, horrible story, but when I first started working with one of these companies, David, um, I think I was two months into the job, horrible culture. Like when I was hired, my boss and I were told by the company out of Germany, you either turn it or you close it. Right. And people actually like in the facility, in the, in the men's restroom and the, like where the locker room was, where the manufacturing employees would change and, you know, use the facilities. Somebody actually took fecal matter and wiped it all over the urinal and all really? the stalls. And rather than sit there and call maintenance or call the cleaning people and say, come clean it. Like, I just want to clean it. Really? I'm not going to have someone clean that. That's not fair to them. Yeah. And so that was a 10 or a hundred dollar kind of task. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get out of my ivory tower that everybody thought that maybe I was sitting in and I'm going to go, you know, do this and take care of it. Right? Was this when you were at the, like when you were a vice president or maybe? No, this is when I was a director. Of okay. Got gotcha, you. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Just for a company that was international. Gotcha. Um, and like, I mean, I'll never forget, like I wore gloves and I had a mask and blah, blah, blah. But I actually took like the glove off and something got in my finger and it got infected. So like, that's probably the only time I really got angry at work. Uh, because like we would do like employee, like uh, like town hall meetings every month and talk about status of the business and where are we going? And so that's another differentiator. I think as you grow in the HR ladder, like I would help lead those meetings and put together the slide deck and the presentations and yeah. talk to all the employees and the team members. Um, I remember going to one of the town hall meetings. This is like right after it happened. I had like my finger was wrapped, you know, bandages and gauze and I was on an antibiotic. And I told people like, I don't know who did this, but like, you better own up to it. Cause like, I don't want to ever do it this again. Like you can come talk to me privately, but like, let's be up, let's be a man about it. And let's, let's confess what we did wrong. Right. And if you're that unhappy, let's talk to me about what you want to do to leave the company. Like, right. I was so angry. And so, uh, my boss, someone ended up fessing up to it out of curiosity. No, no, no one did. No one did. And my boss, Kevin, uh, he's the, he was the president uh, of the, the 